Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School. And I got an interesting thing for you today. I saw this on the internet, and, and I can't quite remember where I saw it, but I'll look it back up and put it down in the comment section because I want this lady to get full credit for her idea. So this blog was doing a, a, a series of articles on fermenting. And I believe she was making cabbage, uh, lacto-fermented vegetables, I'm not really sure what. But there's all sorts of ways that you can make an airtight lid, you know. I personally like using the bung and the plastic stopper, but there's all sorts of different things you can do. And basically what she was doing was testing which ones were more effective than others and looking at, you know, the cost involved. And she came up and, and she, she showed one of these recaps. And, and you just buy the cap and it's threaded for mason jars. And what it does is it basically turns your mason jar into a sports bottle. And I thought that was a wonderful idea. But all she did was is she found a bung and put the bung in there. And my bung's a little big. All right. And that's just the perfect size for uh, making a little bit of vinegar, maybe a little bit of fermented um, pepper mash, right? Maybe a single serve wine, but uh, that's probably a lot of trouble. But uh, there it is, and I wanted just to share that with you. That's a recap lid there, like $5 on Amazon.com. Fits to a mason jar. You get you a bung and an air stop, and you've got a little single person sized fermenter. And this, uh, just so you know, that's a six and a half bung. It was a little tight. You might want to go down a size if you can. But uh, that's all there is to it. I appreciate your time and hope that uh, you visit us online at www.tngun.com or you can catch our podcast show on the Preparedness Radio Network on Blog Talk Radio, Monday nights at 10. Thank you.